please like and subscribe for more tutorial for beginners. New videos every day. You can outsource every part of the process of your website if you wanted to, from web design to content creation. You can outsource everything. You can even get somebody to find you the images to use and anything that you want for your website can basically be outsourced but outsourcing is also a tricky part of your website perfection because if anything goes wrong then it affects the whole website or if you find yourself in the hands of somebody that can manipulate you or install something on your website that allows them to have a back door to your platform then you're in trouble but that's only going to take place very once in a while it's not something that i've experienced i've heard stories about it but it's not things that i've actually been through it's all um i can say i've been blessed for from being online so let's look at some basic things about outsourcing number one is how do you find a designer how do you find a designer the best way that i can advise you to find a web designer is by getting a referral somebody who has used that particular web designer before before you go on the platforms before you go look at websites that I'm going to tell you about in a moment try and find a friend an acquaintance or somebody who can refer you to a web designer that they've used somebody who has created a site that you know of that's the best way that I think you should try to locate your web designer the second thing is when it comes to web design or content creation here are some sites that you can use upwork elance fiverr look at their logos right there they are the companies that i've used i've actually used i think i've used elance only once yeah i've used elance once i've used upwork recently but i've used fiverr a lot and i'm going to show you the strategy when you're going to use any of these websites what to do and how to do it there's a lots of good platform out there but i'm just talking about the ones that i've used and i know that they work so what's the strategy for actually using these external sites for your web design or your content creation the first thing i would say to you is always start small if i wanted to do a 20 page website and i'm just trying out a designer I'm not going to design a 20 page website straight away. I'm going to chop it down to bite size and say, hey, why don't you just create the, the front page or the home page and let me have a look at that. And then, you know, we go on to the next four pages so that I'm spacing the work out that I may be in control of what the web designer is doing. If I want to write an ebook, for example, and I'm going to outsource that ebook creation, I'm going to start by telling the content creator to write two pages first let me have a look at it because i want the option of being able to exit if it's not going quite as well as i want to so the first thing to do is to start small the second thing is to test and that kind of works hand in hand test them by getting them to do something small like i said earlier test if it's a case of you want them to work to a particular deadline then you need to test that out with the person before you commit larger work to them test the platform make sure they understand you and they fit in with what you're trying to do make sure they want to work with you i think i had an experience once with one of the platforms. i'm going to mention the name uh because that's just one experience the guy i asked him to to design my website at first and he just didn't have a clue about what he was doing every time he worked on the website he brought me more issues to to have to deal with and in the end i just kind of cancelled it you know because I, I just couldn't work with him and i learned then that the problem was i committed a large amount of work into his hands so i would never do that again so if i'm using something for the first time i'm definitely gonna test them plus the third strategy that i found that worked with me for example, if you go into Fiverr, there are people who can deliver in one day, people who deliver in three days, people who deliver in 10 days, people who deliver in 15 days. I'm not going to work with you if you deliver in 15 days or seven days. No, because I've done that before. And what happens is when you commit work to somebody, maybe write a piece of content, a 500 word content, somebody should be able to get back to you in three days. When you allow the content creator to 
deliver your work like in seven days and then on the seventh day they cancel that's wasted one whole week so you don't want to do that you want to find somebody who can deliver in two days one day or maximum three days especially if you're working with them for the for the first time and for a simple amount of work okay if you're writing an ebook that takes that is a 30 page ebook that you want to use for your content then you really want them to to take their time to write this so being able to write it over a week or two okay that's quite good but if i'm getting you to change my home page and insert a header on it or something and you're t telling me it's going to take seven days because that's the way that you work i don't want to work with you i want people to deliver quickly because if they cancel on you because something happens in their lives that they need to just cancel the work or something unfortunate happens then you want to be able to have the option of hiring someone else to do the work so those three things are really important start small test and use shorter periods of delivery okay so today we kind of looked a little bit about outsourcing you can go on this website upwork.com elance.com and fiverr.com and you will find good there's some excellent people on fiverr and there's some who just don't know what they're doing you've got to test a variety to come up with the best one for you and when you find a hey, hey, finally i'm going to say this when you find somebody who is really good i suggest you treat them well give them tips and make sure they stay with you for a long time all right then see you soon